to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're gonna have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution Part 2. Oh, well, Evolution 2, I guess it just is. Alright, so we have to deliver captured... Oh no, that's going to happen. So we need a place for them, I guess. Uh, so let's start with over... Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, do you know what? I think this open area is good enough. I would much prefer it if this thing would just keep going. Also, I feel like the snap angles are not right angles all the time. Um... So let's just see how this actually lines up because we have had issues with the last the last two parts trying to do this. This looks like it's okay though. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay. All right, this should cover that, will it? Uh so I'm actually going to resupply this while we can just fill her up. Right, power required says zero. That can't be right, can it? Unused power, 26. Total power output is 30. Okay. Okay, we have a dinosaur delivery. Uh, so let's see, transport dinosaur. We're going to throw him over here. And I guess... We kind of want to get this enclosure ready for this dinosaur. Can I get off of this? Oh, there's another one, is there? There we go, okay. We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Perfectly. I'm not sure if I need to cover this entire place. I probably don't really, so I'm just going to put it like that. That is... No, it's in range of that. Okay, perfect. I didn't even think about that, to be honest. So then we need our... 
Response facility, a ranger team, a task. You can head over and you can do this. We'll find out what's making these guys angry. Um, I'm not really sure what these guys are into. So they require a status check, but they have good health. Oh my god, look at those horns. What are these? Are they? So we've had those in the last one, but I don't... I feel like they didn't really have horns so much, just like little kind of kind of eyebrows that stuck up a little bit. But okay, um, we'll have a look at those. I know their habitat isn't right, but I'm not exactly sure what we should be putting in. Is it trees, some sort of trees and stuff? Uh, let's see, okay, so missing prey. Oh shit, it wasn't live prey I put down. Okay. Ah, uh, live prey. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll just stick that there. Alright, so we have to keep you 80% uh, comfortable. So let's see, we have sand. We need sand. Right. Yeah, we actually had these guys in the last part then. Uh, paint. Oh, this is grass. Hold on. Alright, that's sand, that's rock. Okay. Uh, let's just bump this up and we'll just... Give you loads of sand over this area. I'm not sure do you need... You probably don't need all of it to be sand. Let's see how you are now. Alright, so you're 100% comfortable. Uh, so let's see, ensure they're visible from the research. Okay, I think that's fine because they're going to get some water and all that, so... Do that, and then we'll grab Pat. And this isn't going to go well like this, so let's just bring it right up. Let's see if we can bring it... Maybe... Oh, boy. We can bring it down here. There. Okay, uh, we have that one done. Let's pop in a gate. Let's pop it in over there. And let's go to our path. We'll get a path from the corner there if we can. And just bring it. All right, because we're going to need another one of those research facilities, I assume. So we're going to pop that in, have it all ready. And just bring the pat up to it. Okay, so let's start getting the habitat a little bit ready anyway. Uh, so we know they're going to want water. Oh, that's probably not a good idea to have water coming out and under it, just in case. Actually, I think they, the barriers do go under the water. Not sure, does, I think the barrier is actually, yeah, it lowers down for that. I don't want that. Uh, let's bring this down to one. Oh shit, okay. Transport then. I'm not sure do I need a separate enclosure for that one, actually. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so. <laughs> That's a job you should stay on top of. Uh, vehicle under threat. Okay. I don't really know what I can do about that, like you're telling me. But I'm just kind of like, what do you want me to do? Alright, so our dinosaur here is coming in. He can probably be in the other one, because I think he's, yeah, he's a carnivore as well. He's also, he's got a crown. Does that mean he's an alpha male? Uh, let me have a look two of these. Yeah, okay, so this one's an alpha as well. And this one... Is not. Illness, infamy, or harmless. Where the hell am I getting illness from? Um, 
Okay, cool. So, yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to have two kind of alphas in the same territory. But he is a different species. I'm kind of wondering, should I have him in with the other ones? Let's, let's just get one of these things in. And we will try to keep them a little bit spread out, so I guess... Keep the area covered, and we'll get our response team, rangers. And you can go for that one as well. Keep you guys a little bit busy. Alright, so we need 80% comfort with this guy as well. And this guy, he probably has like very similar attributes to the other ones. Okay, look... We have the, the cohabitants here. So can I actually, am I able to pin this? Like, Jesus game, I just want to be able to pin things. So the Ceratosaurus, <laughs> I'm probably butchering that name. Oh, that's, that's a Carnotaurus. So does he cohabit with them? Where the hell was that? Here. Okay, he doesn't. He actually, he dislikes carnivores. Interesting. Okay, a carnivore that hates his own kind. Right, I know we need food for this guy, so actually let's start... Oh wait, actually, he has his... Oh no, they don't have it done yet. They're useless. Now they're only coming over. Okay. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get your... Live food here. I'm not sure, should I put these down as well? I'm going to leave it for now. I won't bother. Alright, so here we go. They're going to have a look at him. Oh, he's actually content. Interesting. Okay. He would like more forest. So let's actually just throw that in there. So a little bit of forest. Oh. Oh yeah, it's okay. It just went kind of around that. Okay, there we go. So that should keep you a little bit happier. Yeah, okay, so you have enough forest there. You're happy enough. All right, we just wait for the timer to go down. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Okay, period, full stop. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Some of the things people say in this are just ridiculous. Okay, so we have an emergency shelter. We don't need that. Um, emergencies are not a problem. Uh, so a science center. We do need that. Let's actually put the science center maybe somewhere over it. Should we... Move it a little bit further away. Let's see, hold on, we'll get a... We'll get a path kind of going. Maybe if we get one, we'll extend this path. And we have this little section here then. Which will kind of run in for our facilities and all that sort of stuff. At least unimportant ones. Ones that you don't have to be kind of responding very quickly with. Uh, so let's see, operations, science center. Oh, toggle angle snap. That's actually definitely something I want. Oh my god, yes. Alright, we'll actually give a little bit of room there just in case there's like a, a power station or something like that we have to set up. So we need that and we need a staff center. So a staff center, let's... Oh, this is much better. And then we need a paleo 
medical facility. I would like if they remembered the direction I was in, I was facing previously. Right, so we have that. And we need to then just put paths into each of these. So let's start from this side. It'll be the easiest way to do these. There we go. Uh, does this have power? That's the next question. It's out of the range of power. So we'll just stick one. I guess we'll stick it over here. Because there's no need for that to come to a path or anything like that. There we go. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Okay, I'm actually kind of curious right now. I'm just going to have a quick look at their tasks. I want to add. I want to see, can I add in... No, I can't add in the power stations. It would be really handy if you could do that. Maybe there's some sort of upgrade you can get in the future with it. There might be a better power station and all that sort of stuff that will come out. Um, or upgrades. I know there's actually building upgrades, so maybe that's kind of it. Uh, anyway, right now, so we have construction, uh, operation, expedition. Oh, okay. Could have just told me while you are doing the other things. Expedition center. We'll put it over this side. We will put it... Let's see. All right, we'll put it there. All these helipads, you'd think they'd be able to just, like, start sharing a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, fast forward this, uh, just a bit. I actually just realized I could have done that while I was waiting for the timer to go down earlier. Okay, right. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above. Because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. Okay, so urgent message. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I guess we'll do it straight away. Okay, uh, so... I... I don't know, does this make any... Real difference. We just need two. We get just this guy. This guy does make it quicker. Let's put the two of them on it. Why not? Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a hundred percent win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post-haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Okay, so they have a disease. We're not going to want to put them into the same enclosure then, even if they are able for it. So, we have two captured. Uh, let's see. Give me two minutes, I think. So, let's see if we can get this enclosure done as quick as we can. So, I actually kind of... I'm kind of thinking maybe if we just have like a little quarantine area... Oh, guys, there's no snap here. I'm gonna say, like, that. I'm probably way off with that. Oh, shit. I'm gone wrong here. It's okay. I'll just... I'll make it meet. I don't even know where the start of this is. Oh, it's there. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we have a little kind of quarantine. Actually, it's a fairly big quarantine area. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I'll just throw in the water. Um, I'm going to throw it in here. I'm not going to worry about that sort of stuff. I'm just going to, like, leave it kind of... Okay, this... This, <laughs> this ended up really weird. Um, not entirely sure what happened here. But there we go. We have a kind of water area. We'll throw in a gate. 
And I guess we need to power our a... Shit, what the fuck was that shake? I'm not sure what that was. Okay, we'll just keep going. Uh, yeah, we want one of these. I'm kind of... I'm trying to figure out how far the power will actually go here. I'm going to just, like, put this kind of... You know what? If I need to build another one, I'll build another one. I just kind of want to get all of this enclosure. Okay, Jesus. Transport, so... Throw them in here. Oh, man. Okay. Um... Let me actually just have a quick look. Oh, we don't have enough anyway to cover this, so... We only have the edge of the fence. We'll throw one there. And we will just throw one of these then. So we can cover this entire area. Yeah, we're good with that. Alright, so if we actually get a ranger team as well, can I actually just... Let me see, because, like, these guys are going to just take forever with this. Uh, actually, I'm going to take forever trying to find them. Turn and facility. Oh, jeez. You know what? I'm just going to add it. Too much shit there. <laughs> trying to get out. Oh, my God. No, do you know what? Actually, I'll just... I'm going to take direct control. Because uh, I feel like he's going to just start the entire thing over again. So, oh, nearly crashed immediately. Alright, so this looks like it's being attacked. Oh shit, okay. Oh man. I would have been le better off if I left you guys to it. Alright, so approaching the area. Acid check complete. Okay. Let's... Okay, what the hell? No, no, give me... Ah, oh, fucking hell, what the hell's going on? Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, you can finish off there. So I have this guy, and that's kind of all I'm looking for at the moment. So you kind of, you need some stuff to make you feel comfortable first. Uh, actually, wait, and what exactly is it you need? So you need ground leaf, and you need ground fruit. So I'm just going to throw that stuff in as quick as I can. So uh, ground leaf and ground fruit. Is there any ground leaf here? Because, oh shit. Alright, so we have ground fruit here and we have ground fiber. These are ornamental, okay. Ground leaf here, okay. Alright, we have some ground leaf. We'll just throw this in. This is ground leaf. Oh no, okay, yeah, it's getting rid of trees. That's okay. Throw that stuff in over there. Let's actually just spread it out a bit. And then we'll get ground fruit. Which is... Yep, yeah, it's this one. Alright, and there you guys should be okay with all that. Missing ground fruit? Are you fucking joking me? Ground... Ground fruit. Like, you're actually costing me a fortune here, guys. Okay. At least you're comfortable, so let's get the medical staff then. Uh, so if you guys can add task. Get you on this guy and also on this guy. Alright, so disease contracted. Something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised they deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature honestly perhaps even more as the miracle of science gave them a second chance so do the research find the cure and then let's use it or the dinosaurs die again and listen that's not going to happen so is it tuberculosis we have to 
Oh, let me just have a, a quick look here. Okay, so um, this is the one we have to try and get. So, if we put you on it, we have one minute. Oh yeah, okay, you're still going to make it quicker, so we're going to go with two of you. It's getting dark. I don't know, does this game have seasons? But it would be cool if it did. As a research complete, tab to view. Oh shit, I pressed that too late. I'm actually going to go over to these guys first. Um, pretty much because they're in a cage shared. One of them is not after getting it yet. Really, I think... Like, I did quarantine them off. The other dinosaurs. That should have been okay. Uh, so let's see. Lock on. Use equipment. Oh, no, no. Not that equipment. Uh, let's see. Medicaid. Oh, just like that. Oh, shit. You're the wrong one. Is he the wrong one? Can I... Direct control. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There's loads of dinosaurs actually getting sick here. Okay. Oh! God! Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, can I actually just take these myself? If I just, like, use this, can I go... Alright, yeah, we're administrating the medicine. Is it just one that I need? Nope. There's a second one. There, you should be medicated. Yeah, you're good to go. Let's get those other two then to cause this entire thing. Oh boy. I probably should have thought about like trying to maneuver all this when I was trying to lay it out. To be honest, I was just trying to like group things up a little bit. Right, you should be good. Or is this last guy? Oh boy, there you are. There we go. Okay, so you can just make your own way back there. Okay, Dr. so let's Dua. see. Complete. This is oh. Lambert. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes. That's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Okay, I actually still think that is like, <laughs> that is so cruel. Um, Alright, so we have to complete DFW headquarters. So increase the asset rating of your facility by sending out expeditions to capture new species and ensuring they are comfortable, uh, comfortably enclosed, visible uh, to your, opera uh, your operatives. Okay, our uh, truck is under attack again. Alright, so we have a number of different things here. We have incident alerts. Uh, they're all incident alerts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fantastic. Um, we don't have enough to do this one yet, but everything else in this area we have enough to do. So let's... Killington, let's go for this and... All right, we're going to need this guy on it, and I'm just going to send that guy so we can see if we can try get another one done. We can't get another one done. Apparently, the second guy we have is actually just useless. So let's get out of this. The upgrades, then. Let's have a look at our science. Uh, okay, so 
Efficiency upgrades, okay. And scientists train, and that does sound very useful. We actually have nobody we can do any of these at the moment, so I guess it doesn't make a difference. Let's close out of that. Right, I wonder why do they actually show this? Is it because, like, there is an issue with this dinosaur, or a potential issue? This likes uh, carnivores, but apparently trucks as well. Or any kind of vehicle. Um, okay, I guess we can't really do anything about that. So let's just fast forward this. Okay, so a live capture. Uh, right, Triceratops. No, apparently, Taurosaurus. Oh, right, okay, he's actually a little bit different. Yeah, he's he's actually a lot different. Okay, so captured four of them, one evaded. I probably should have sent that other guy with him, uh, mainly because he was useless over here. So let's see, if we just, can we have a look at... I would really like to know where where these guys can go because because at the moment it's like he might potentially live with some of these guys. He also might not. Let's just throw him in here because there's only one dinosaur in here. You don't have to worry as much. So, uh, if the rangers then can hurry up and come over here and find out what these guys are into. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> this likes carnivores. This isn't gonna go well, is it? Um, alright. Oh shit, okay. So, does this guy... Oh my god, they're not happy. They're not happy. Oh, okay. What did I say the name of these guys were? Oh shit, Taurus. I was looking at that Ceratorus or whatever it was that was on this guy's panel. Shit, okay, okay. Uh, let's have a quick look at you then. Are you someone who lives with... Oh my god, I'm actually just after realizing. I'm just after realizing. Okay, so I need to get the helicopter. Is this the right? No, this is the expedition. Uh, give me this. No, not this. I'll have to go for the carnivore first, I think, and I'm just gonna like put him to sleep. Oh shit, wrong way. Um, not put him to sleep in the same way you might put your pet to sleep. Uh, I am literally just gonna put him to sleep. Okay. Uh, right, hold on, hold on. R, R. Let's press an E and I'm calling R. Oh no, come back, come back. I hit him. Alright, so now you guys. Oh, you guys are nice and calm. Just like, yeah, okay, you're shooting at me, you know? I'm just gonna keep on, like, moving slowly so you can keep hitting me. You know, I'm still actually missing you. Okay, uh, that's disappearing, that one. There we go. Okay, I think that's all of them. Is everybody asleep? Right. So I'm actually going to build another enclosure because I do just want this as a quarantine. And I think these are the guys that these guys will live with. Oh, he doesn't live with them either. Oh, wait, no, Likes is up here. No, he still doesn't live with him. Uh, so medical scan required on, oh my God. <laughs> TRS-004. Um, are you, you're zero one. Let's see, two, three, four. This guy requires a medical scan. Is this guy, he's still asleep, right? Yeah, he is. Alright, I'll worry about that in a little while. Right now, I just want to get one of these enclosures. We'll actually try to get it some way in line with this one. It's number four I'm looking for. It's probably the last one coming. Because I think it was the last one I picked up.
And this guy. Okay, I'm not able to scan him, which is weird. Let's see. Missing ground. Oh shit, yeah, these guys actually need, um. They need some sort of enclosure or some sort of habitat setup. I forgot about that. Okay, and we also need a station for these guys. So let's have a quick look. So. There we go. And our same rangers are going to. That's not our rangers. This one. You guys, you are going to patrol this as well. You're starting to get a little bit busy here. There we go. And we'll just set a path coming out. And down there. Okay. Oh, it's raining. Alright, where is that team? Oh, we actually, we have everything we need anyway. So we need a forest and we need ground fiber. So let's see, a forest. Oh wait, is there one of these that does ground fiber as well? Probably not. There's ground fiber and tall fiber. But that doesn't really work with our forest area. Let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, now, you better be happy. Alright, you're happy with that. Population still on slightly low side, but it's okay. Alright, so with that guys, I'm going to end this part. So thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.